Okay, welcome again to my YouTube channel. This is my fourth problem in getting the variance and standard deviation. Compute for the variance and standard deviation of an XXX or XX television per day at a local Nikas appliances center. Okay, so represent the number of TV as an X. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is only the given. Take note that this is only the given. So our probability is 1 over 10, 2 over 10, 2 over 10, 3 over 10, and 2 over 10. So this is the total of 1. So in getting x of px, uh, you multiply 0 times 1 over 10 will be 0. 1 times 2 over 10, 2 over 10. 2 times 2 over 10, we have 4 over 10. 3 times 3 over 10, we have 9 over 10. And then 4 times 2 over 10, we have 8 over 10. And with a total of 2, 3 over 10, and we will change that to 2.3 as a decimal. Okay, how do we get this one? X minus the expected value, we have 0 minus 2.3 we have negative 2.3 1 minus 2.3 will we have negative 1.3 2 minus 2.3 we have negative 0.3 and 3 minus 2.3 we have 0.7 and 4 minus 2.3 we have 1.7 okay the next procedure to this one, we have x minus ev squared. So, how will you, what we'll do, you have negative 2.3 times negative 2.3, we have 5.29. Negative 1.3, we have 1.69. Negative 0.3 squared. Negative 1.3 times negative 1.3, we have 0 0.09 we know that the negative times negative will become positive and 0 0.7 times 0 0.7 we have 0 0.49 and 1.7 times 1.7 we have 2.89 so this one uh this is the formula for the variance summation of this variance we have pi you you multiply this part on the probability of x so 5.29 times 1.10 or 1 over 10 sorry 1 over 10 times 5.29 we have 0 5.29 uh, 2 over 10 times 1.69 we have 0.338 2 over 10 multiplied by 0 0.09 we have 0 0.018, 3 over 10 multiplied by 0 0.49, we have 0 0.747, and 2 over 10 multiplied by 2.89, we have 0 0.578. And you will get the total of this total, total value for the variance, or the variance, it's so we have 1.69, 5.29 plus 0 0.338, 0 0.018, 0 0.747, and 0 0.578 with a total of 1.61. Take note, this is already our variance. And we will get the standard deviation. And the square root of 1.61 is 1.269. So, take note, this is the standard deviation. So, we have already computed our mean, the variance, and standard deviation. So, thank you guys. And we will proceed uh, using the normal distribution and its characteristics. So, thank you so much.